my name is Jonna Jeffcoat. I'm the Director of Services and Founder of Infinity Music Therapy Services, and I'm also one of the Board Certified Music Therapists on staff. I wanted to give you a little bit of information about how to have an amazing Zoom call with your clinician or your instructor so you can get the most out of your therapy or your lesson that you're participating in with us. So there's a couple tips and tricks that I want to go over. The first thing being, we want you to have your video, your screen that you're sharing with us um, with your name and your pronouns. And this is especially important when we're working within a group setting and we're referring to a bunch of different individuals, especially individuals we may be only seeing you know, for the first time, first couple of times. So the way to do that is if you scroll over to the top right corner of your video, there should be three dots, and when you click on that, a drop down menu will pop down, and you can go right to the rename option and rename the video with the participant or participants in that little screen, as well as the pronouns if you choose to include them. So that's the first thing. The second thing also within that group setting is if the individual participating has difficulty localizing where the instructor or the clinician is on the screen or really just needs to limit distractions, you can make our video the biggest. If you go up to the top, you can hit speaker view, which will bounce between whoever is speaking. So a lot of times that'll be the clinician speaking. But you can also go over to the top right corner of our video and click on those three dots again and click pin. That'll make our video the biggest one on the screen regardless of who else is speaking, playing, or making any noise on, on their end. There also is an option. If you go up to the top left corner of your screen, you should see an option pop up that says turn on or turn off original sound. This option can also be found if you go under your audio settings. And what we want to do is we want to turn on the original sound. Now what this does is it allows Zoom to leave all of your sound as authentic as opposed to trying to filter out what Zoom is considering noise. This will allow us to be able to hear you better, especially during music lessons when you might be playing piano or guitar, as Zoom will frequently think that that sound is noise and then filter it out. So always turn on your original sound whenever you can. Another thing that you want to pay attention is your proximity to your router or where you're getting your Wi-Fi from. The stronger your Wi-Fi signal, the better the timing and the less of a delay, less of a glitch, less of the distortion of your video and the better we can assist you within your therapy sessions or your lessons. So pay attention to what your internet settings are and oftentimes Zoom will actually flag if you are in the yellow or in the red with your internet. Sit closer to your router and if you can, plug directly into it if you're having consistent issues. You also want to be in an environment where there's plenty of light so you can be seen on video. Darker environments are of course going to create more of a haze or a glaze. If you don't have a ring light, that's okay. I don't have a ring light on right now, but I do have some natural light, but not enough that's glaring on the screen and reducing some of that visibility. So play around with different lights around your house because you want to reduce, you know, some of the ceiling lights will create a, quite a big reflection and make it hard to see during sessions. Additionally, if you have an individual that is very visually distracted, you want to think about things that are behind you that might show up in the camera when they're facing and able to see their own video. Things like this include ceiling fans that might be turned on where you can see them spinning over and over and over again. It can be very visually distracting. So either adjust where you're sitting or turn off that fan so you're not having any issues with that. You want to have your Zoom call set up in an area of your home or your facility where there is the least amount of noise and interruptions so we do have some of that true ability to be able to hear each other and worst case scenario, go ahead and put in some headphones or earbuds so we can still hear you, we can still see you and you can hear the instructor or the clinician a little bit more clearly. Now for instruments around your home or your facility, we can give you tons of different ideas of things that you can go grab, but some, some of the things that are most typical are pots and pans or Tupperware with wooden spoons, um, big tote containers can work as drums, you know, boxes, upside down garbage cans, 
Um, Tupperware containers filled with rice, beans, pasta, those make excellent shakers. So there's lots of different things that you can use in order to make music with the clinician. And we also can get very creative as well with just using our screen and our body percussion <laughs> to make music with you. Uh, now, if you can't hear us, there are some options for you to communicate. You know, don't be afraid to give us the big old wave, but you can also use the chat function in order to communicate with the instructor or the clinician leading your session. If you scroll down right to the bottom, there is an option for chat. And if you click that open, that will allow you to communicate directly with the person leading your session. Or if you're in a group setting, it will allow everybody within that group setting to see what you're typing. So if there is a glitch or a lag and you're still logged on, you can communicate still with the person that is the host of that session. Now, if you're in a group setting and you wanna communicate only with your clinician or only with the person who's leading it, you can, again, go over to those um, three dots and scroll down, that's the top right corner of our video, and there should be an option for chat. When you open up the chat window, you'll see it pop up as private message and you'll be able to send them a direct message just to them and that's all the, you know, the only person that will be able to see them. Okay. We're so excited to be able to make music with you and we have been loving our telehealth sessions. So we look forward to working with you soon.